go ahead and show you all the scopes you have uh, of course the iron sights which I'll show you that in game um, laser guidance system which is rangefinder sensor and attached laser sight that allows you to home in projectiles and where you are zooming so it's just you know you guide it which I'm not sure what the difference is between the UV laser guidance and the laser guidance system I always use the UV it's um, oh it apparently is supposed to be more accurate with steering I always just use that and I, I'm gonna go with that still uh, and then you have uh, nice little sights these actually are scopes like uh, with a sniper like if you if you're playing COD uh, you, you know what a scope is if you have played a first-person shooter it just like blackens the rest of the screen or at least uh, blurs it out and I'll, I'll show you an example of it so you guys can understand what I'm talking about and then remote control is really cool because it, it like attaches a camera to where you're firing I'll go ahead and um, show you these right now actually okay this is what I mean by the sight and right here this is just a healing rocket so oh wait no I took the healing rocket off that that hurts them <laughs> and um next right here I'll go ahead and show you the the guiding which I love messing with this what I do is I'll shoot it up in the air and then I'll go oh hey guess what now I want you to rain down and I shot it up way too high okay hold on we gotta do this because normally I use slower yeah you have to do it with slower ones you can't uh, like you can curve it on here faster ones but you you got to be quick about it whereas with slower ones you don't have to be so quick because they're slow oh dang I hit that dude I didn't even mean to do that but yeah uh, that's how that's that works which is pretty nice and then the remote control is a really cool I'll show you that right now look at that look at that oh my gosh that's awesome um, it can be kind of hard to steer if you have the fast one, right? Like I do right here. This is the fast rocket, so it's a little more difficult. Oh god! Okay, I accidentally got out of it. Um, let me figure out how I did that. I zoomed in first, then I shot. Yeah, if you um hit the button, if you zoom in, which if you hold down the the right click or whatever you have uh, zoom in set to, it automatically detects that you're um hitting the zoom in button, which will zoom you out of the camera so don't do that if you want to be able to actually use that and then we got a ton like so much cool stuff uh, with the projectiles uh, with these special things now you have just the the basic damage you also have Tesla which is energy damage which can result in a chain attack on people you have fire which uh, damages over time that's the perk to that the perk to the uh, Tesla is the chain reaction you can get sometimes health is really good because it, it heals you. You don't have like anything to heal you. So what I always do is I have a, a you can have two primary guns. There's no secondary or anything. So I have a healing rocket waiting for me and I'll have it for my teammates obviously too. So I'll shoot it at the ground and it'll blow up and it'll keep healing me which is nice. And then the juice, I haven't used this but um, it's supposed to give you extra strength and speed so uh, sounds good to me. I'm going to just stick with the slug for this right here. Actually, I'll go ahead and demonstrate to you guys the, the Tesla, eh, so you guys can see. Yeah, see, look, it hit it hit both of them. That one didn't, because, well, they're, they're right there. Um, can, I wonder if I can get it to hit right here. Yeah, okay, see, it, it hurts both of them. And now if we swap it over to the pyro, it, it'll obviously do damage over time. See, they, they just burn, so that's nice. <laughs> I like the little taunts they do while they're burning to death pretty funny um, and then the juice if we do this I'll go ahead and use it on myself well, well you aren't gonna uh, you can see that I'm moving faster but you aren't gonna be able to see that I do more damage because I don't have another gun on me right in here but anyway we'll go ahead and uh, change back to the slug what um these are this is really cool you can have just a normal rocket just goes normal you can have lob which is goes in an arc turbo which makes it faster you can have agile to where uh... it moves slower but it offers um... a boost in damage and higher maneuverability so that's slower more damage and that super slow is really slow but it gives you more damage and i'll go ahead and show you that real quick which is what i was talking about before i like doing is i like shooting it i don't have the laser right now though but see, look how slow that is. But you can just, what I like to do, like say uh, there's an enemy like over there or something, like across some way. I shoot it up in the air. I run over there. And then by the time the rocket has caught up, because the rockets do go faster than you. Um, so by the time it's caught up, I can just point it right where they're at and it'll kill them. And it works really well. I mean, um, there's so many different strategies you can use with these. It's amazing. And then you have a mortar, which obviously shoots like a mortar. The scuttle, uh, it crawls along the ground, which is pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of um, the the Ripper, 
or yeah, I think that's what it's called. Not the Ripper. What am I saying? The um, ah, oh, what's the Gears Three gun where it travels on the ground? I uh, I can't think of it. But it, like, go look, you'll see. Like that. That's what it does, and it's so cool. Like, look at this. Like, I see all these being special weapons. Like, there's so many cool things that I can totally see them being special weapons. Like that. That'd be better for a group. And if you want to like hurry up and take them out, as you can see, that friggin owned him. And then we have the corkscrew, which just shoots it in a corkscrew path, like that. So that that's pretty cool. I'm going to just swap it to the default so we can show you some more. And then these are, you can make them blow up on impact, you can make them bounce and then explode. So you hit them on something and then they explode. Like if somebody's around a corner, you can get them with that. You have sticky, so it's mine. kind of reminds me of like uh, Demo Man. And then uh, rebouncing, it bounces a ton until it hits some, uh, it always hits. If it hits a person, it will always blow up like that. So if they're in like a closed room and you use this, it'll bounce around the walls and it'll either explode after a few times or it'll explode once it hits them. So you can get kind of a better chance to be able to do it. Like blow them up. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Look at that. Oh, okay, well this probably isn't the best place to demonstrate it. But look, yeah, see, there you go. It bounces a few times before it blows up. I'm going to get rid of that though <laughs> while I'm demonstrating the other things. And then we can go ahead and go into uh, all these, which these are really cool. Uh, you have it where it just blows up on contact. You have manual where you sh click to shoot and then you click again to blow it up, which is really good if you're only shooting one uh, rocket. But if you're using like six in a clip, definitely don't do that or it's just going to be a pain. Uh, proximity, it blows up whenever it gets close to them. And then timed, it just blows up in five seconds. Like if you wanted to do one of the bouncing ones or something, that'd probably be good with timed. And then, let's see, explosive, you can have them just blow up in different clusters and etc. Uh, flak, it just sprays it everywhere and causes damage over time, so it's kind of like the fire. And then, it, it, it's just breaking it up into more parts, like I'll show you. See, look at that, it just broke up into a ton of teeny parts right there. See, look at all those. What I do like doing sometimes is, let, I'll show you. I like putting it on manual. Where is manual? Um, hold on a second. Where are you, manual? I don't remember where it's at. I think it's right here, actually. Yes, it is. Okay, what I really like doing sometimes is this. And then I just let it rain on them. Except it normally works a little better than that. Yeah, I always use the slow one, though. So, kind of like, oh my god, am I going to be able to do this or not? Hold on. Yeah, no, I keep missing. Are you see, Dude, this is way too fast. I still can't, yeah, no, you get the idea. And then, <laughs> and then um, cool thing, you can customize the barrel so you can have it um, improved accuracy, but a reduce a fire rate if you want with the tube. And then the heavy increases accuracy and stability, but it makes it where you shoot it slower as with the last one, the tube. The tri lets you shoot three, uh, quad four, penta five, hex six, but each time it... Um, it increases the fire rate, but it decreases the damage because, you know, obviously, why would you, I like, <laughs> there has to be some loss and some difference between it. Like, I, you aren't going to be able to shoot six e uh, rockets and then somebody have an equally uh, damaging one rocket. Like, that, that'd be stupid. Like, there, there's no way they could do that. Now, here, um, they have a salvo. I don't think I've seen this before. Um, but you have semi-auto, which is typical. Uh, full auto, you can hold it down. They'll keep going. Spooling out, see why you'd want it for this. That's more of a like a light machine gun or something. The two-round, three-round burst, I, I don't know about that for this. And then the salvo, you hold down the trigger to load multiple into the barrel and then release them to fire them all at once. I haven't seen this, so I'm going to change, or I haven't used this, rather. I'm going to change it and try and test it out right here. Oh, cool, you, like, charge them all up. Ah, oh, dude, that's awesome. That's like, um... I don't know if you guys have ever played Star Wars Battlefront, but it's kind of like uh, what you can do with Chewbacca's uh, crossbow, where it charges up and it shoots them all. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Dude, that seriously is. I wonder how much um, six of them will do to one dude. Let's find out. Well, it looks like it killed him. Yeah, so I definitely go with that. Like, dang, that is really good if you can get the charges off. Look at that thing. Dude, oh, and I have it on the, the little minis to where they break off. If they weren't breaking off, they'd be killing them, like, instantly, just about. And then you can change the stock. Uh, I already went over that, though, except there's an exhaust port, which is another one, and it's rocket exhaust. That it reduces the recoil, uh, but requires great stability to aim accurately. So, like, I'll show you. Look at this thing. That thing's awesome. Like, look. Okay. 
Uh, great stability. I don't, I don't see the the requirement for great stability. Like, looks like it's doing pretty good to me. I don't know. Maybe I have great stability already. Yeah, I, I got half. That's pretty good. So yeah, that's the the rocket proportion. I'll go ahead and show you guys the other ones in a second.